Deborah from Housewife Eclectic here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Valentine's banner, which I'm excited about. I think it's going to turn out really cute. I'm trying new things today with my live, so if there are wonky problems, let me know. I can't read my comments off my phone today because I have decided to try and do it with the forward facing camera because it's a better quality video. It's also a little stressful for me. So. Hang on. I'm trying to find a video to share it. Ooh. Not my favorite angle. Okay. So, let me share this a little bit and then we will get started. So, we are making a burlap Valentine's banner, which should be relatively easy to make. Um. I'm a little rusty, guys. I haven't done a, a live in like two weeks because of Christmas and um, New Year's Day and everything. So I'm a little Valentine's banner. Okay. We're going to get this shared and then we're going to get started. This should be really easy to do. I am going to do it with my Cricut. You don't have to have a Cricut, Cricut to do this. I think it's easy enough to do that you could do it without. Um. Mom, I used help to fix the, my bow. You fixed your bow? I'm so proud of you. I used a new bow. Okay. Because a new bow right there. Oh, your hair is a mess. Your hair is a mess. That is my three-year-old. That is Haley. She's my sweet little girl. I, don't, I have two kiddos. We've got Haley and Sophie. Sophie is nine, and so she's at school right now. Hi, Susan. We are going to be making a burlap Valentine's banner, like a bunting banner that you can hang on. Almost done sharing. Perhaps. Okay, we are ready to go. So I'm going to show you the banner that I've got. Um, this is. I told you this is a lot of my comfort zone. I've decided to do the forward facing camera instead of the um, rear facing camera. So um, if there are any problems, let me know. Um, and I am going to keep this video up so I can see your comments on my computer. Um, so hopefully that will all work. This is one of my New Year's resolutions is to do better like higher quality, like, like the actual quality of the video, uh, life. So I'm going to start with this Bunting banner. So this is just, um, I mean, you could make this yourself if you wanted to. Um, it's just burlap. It's been stiffened. It's, it's got like, um, I don't even know exactly. I want to call it heat and bond, but I don't think that's exactly what it is. Um, so it's just, they're just pennants. Um, I believe I picked this up at Michael's, perhaps Hobby Lobby. Um, so we are just going to trim it down to the size that we want. Um, I was planning on doing, writing love on the banner. What do you guys think of that? Or would you do something else? Or we do be mine. Do we have enough? do be mine would you guys rather do be mine be mine or love let me know what your preferences and so here's our banner we are going to use heat transfer vinyl to put the letters on there so let me try this i got this cool like fancy little light thing does that make it so you guys can't see though does that block the camera at all My uh, computer runs a little bit behind, so I can't, and it blocks it a little bit, huh? Just a tiny bit. Hmm. Let me see if I can slide it down this way. Nope, it's going to all fall off. Okay, it was a good thought. As now I've ruined everything. There we go. 
Okay, so we are going to use heat transfer vinyl. I've got red heat transfer vinyl and hopefully black somewhere. Red and black is what we are going to use. Um, you could do the red glitter. I don't think I have any red glitter. So we are going to do red and black. Can you see me? This is seriously like super out of my comfort zone to use this the front facing camera. Oh, for some reason I don't think it's very flattering like this. Okay, so this is just red. Just a shiny pretty red. And then just a regular black. So you can do this with just about any cutting machine. I have the new Cricut Maker, but you can, this is, we're cutting this vinyl, so you can do it with just about any machine. Almost all of the machines out there on the market can cut paint transfer. I would say all of them can. I just feel like there's so much crud off when you take off the things of the heat transfer. <clears throat> okay, so we've got our red and we've got our black. And then we're going to pull out our machine. Which is mine is right here. So Turn it on. Seriously, guys, I feel so rusty. And now we're going to design. This is the fun part. So I'm going to turn you, try and turn you guys a little bit to make sure you guys can see my computer really well. Let's see, I might have to bring you down a little bit. Ooh. Or kill you. That's fine too. Sorry, my tripod is. Guys, I told you I'm having like, I'm having a day. It's not a great day either. If you ever had a bad day, take pity on me today. to stay. Stay my friend. Stay. Okay, I'm going to grab a different tripod. This one is garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. So you're getting a mini craft room. A tour of my craft room. This is all my vinyl. This is all my Harry Potter stuff. Because Harry Potter. Why would you not have Harry Potter stuff? Look. There's my BB-8. Okay, so now we're going to come back over. Oh, look, there's my Doctor Who wall. Got to have love for the Doctor Who wall. I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see how it is as I fix this. At least you know, this is all real life. Nothing staged about, about this. Okay, we're going to try this little teeny tripod out. And see how it goes. See? So cute. He says, hi friends. Oh my gosh, you can tell I hang out with toddlers all the time, can't you? Okay, let's try this little friend out. I think this one will be a little easier to maneuver as well, so hopefully that will be awesome. I'm gonna turn you back around. I'm going to put you on the tripod, and then I'm going to maneuver you so you can see my computer. So, here's my computer. Those are my cute girls, and I reading a book. Oops. Okay, so we are going to go to, hopefully we are like, past our traumatic moments of the day 
So we are going to design.cricut.com. We're going to sign into my account. Here you will see all of the things that I have been working on. Ooh, we could have made those shirts. I forgot. Um, I made these super awesome shirts for my brother and his wife for Christmas. Um, she's a big Harry Potter fan, so we made him cute shirts that say, um, he's a keeper, she's a catch, and I have a snitch, and um, a Quidditch pitch on him, so they're super fun. So you can just kind of see what I've been working on up here. We are going to go ahead and create a new project. And first, we are going to just type, be mine. Be mine. We are going to put it up here so that we can work with it. Hey, this isn't actually working too bad. Thank you for, you, thank you for those of you that stuck with me through my horrifically bad day. Seriously, it's like the first live back after a break is always kind of horrific. So um, one of the big things we need to do first is we need to find a font that we like so that um, it will, before we resize or anything, we want it to be... Um, the correct font because obviously the size of the, the letters are going to change depending on the font. So there's no point in spending a lot of time resizing if, ooh, yeah, I think that's a great Valentine's font. Anyone else agree? Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out how big the center of our little um, banner is. So I'm just going to grab a measuring tape. And we are going to, you can see right here, I am just about to measure. Put you back so you can see my computer so you won't be dizzy. Okay, so the banner is six inches wide. And from the, the seam to the point, about five inches tall. I don't think we want to go that big. I think we want the most we would want to go is four, maybe three and a half inches tall. So since we are going to be cutting them apart, I'm not so much worried about the width. I'm more worried about the height. So let's make them three inches tall. And then we're going to look up some stuff that we can find to maybe decorate this a little bit. So I am just going to type in heart and see what pops up. Ooh, this is a cute heart. I like this one too. We are going to add some of these hearts. You can see, so you can go online and find your own hearts and do kind of what you, what you will with it. Or you can use their Cricut access, which I do subscribe to. So I do have access to, Ooh, I like this one a lot. So if you select all the ones you want and insert them, it'll insert them all at the same time. And then we can click and drag to where we want them to be. Okay, so I think if we just do Be Mine, that's kind of a little bit boring. So um, I think we definitely want to add a few hearts to this. Um, so I'm thinking we want a heart kind of over the eye. Um, I have extra, how many extra banners do I have? One, two, one, two, three, four. I have two. So let's do two big heart ones and then a heart over the eye. What do you guys think of that? Should we do them all this heart? This is my favorite heart. Should we do them all this heart or should we do them to keep the solid heart in the for the be mine. Tell me your opinion. Okay. So um, if you want things different colors, you just go ahead and you make them different colors on your screen. That way your Cricut will know that it, you want to cut it out of different colors. Um, I think we are going to go ahead and do the same heart. Oops. Mm, I think I liked the other heart better. 
sad day. Let's go find it again. Here you are, friend. Okay. It doesn't matter that it's bumping into this M a little bit here because we are going to just be, um, oh, so Kim says we should do it the same. I will save you my friend over here and we will size this one down. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're ready to cut. So we've got this B mine and this heart heart. Here, um, since I used all Cricut um, fonts and stuff, I can actually share this project with you so you can easily make the same one, which is awesome. So I will go ahead and share that with you. See, now you can see exactly what I'm working on. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hit go up to this green button. Can you see in this corner here? It says make it. Bring you over. Make it. Lorraine says, I would flip one heart so they'll mirror the words, like frame them. Okay. But I gotta remember how to do that. Do you remember how to do that, Lorraine? Flip one heart. Hi, Linda! Good to see you. I can't remember how to flip it. Does, oh, rotate. Flip. Did that work? No. Ah, flip. Got it. I found it. Okay, so it's up here. So Lorraine said we should flip it so they'll kind of like frame the heart. I, I mean frame the, the sentence. I love that idea. So up here in the toolbar, I don't think you guys can see that right here, it says flip. So I just went ahead and click it and then flipped it horizontal. So now we are ready to cut. So we're going to go over here and hit make it. And now it's, you're going to see that it's going to sort things into um, different mats based on um color. So since the color, since the word were black, the, the words were black and the hearts were a different color, it's going to know that we want to make, cut them out of different colors. So the very first thing we need to do, since we are cutting out of heat transfer, we need to come here and we need to mirror both of the things that way. Um, cause you cut heat transfer backwards. So you've got to mirror it so that it's backwards and, um, then you can cut it out. Right. Okay. So now we're going to hit continue, which is down here in the corner. Says continue. Please connect your machine. Let's gonna find my machine here in a second. Okay, so we are just using iron on, so we're gonna go ahead and select iron on. And then it says it wants us to have a fine point blade in, which I do, so we're not gonna have to change that. So let me kind of move you guys over here so you can see this. So this is the fine point blade. So can I get it somewhere where it will focus? Almost there. It doesn't want to. There we go. So can you see that little teeny tiny blade in there? That's a fine point blade. And that's what you use to cut paper and um, vinyl and heat transfer vinyl and all of that good stuff. A lot of your basic things. So... I'm going to move you guys this way so you can see what I'm doing. So first we are going to cut the black. So I'm just taking the black. Um, heat transfer goes shiny side down. Always. So we are going to go ahead and notch that up in the grid. And lay that down. I'm going to grab my brayer. Um, my mat is a little bit near the end of its life. I would say that's the thing I go through the most on with my Cricut machines is definitely a mat. But this awesome brayer 
um, helps your mats last a little bit longer because you can push your materials down into the mat a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and load this into my machine. I'm going to turn you guys this way so you can see really well. I can't decide if the small tripod's better. I feel like I can show you things better, but I also am afraid I'm making you all dizzy. Um, weigh in on that. So I'm going to put this in. There's little teeth here that it's got to be under. Okay, so now it's ready to go. So you can see here when it's ready to go, this cricket button is going to flash. So we can go ahead and press go and now it's gonna cut i'll let you guys watch that as it cuts yeah my brayer was probably one of my very favorite purchases this year um i think it really definitely helps the um words I told you guys i've been like the strugglest day ever the strugglest guys seriously so i got sick with like what I thought was just like a cold, probably like three or four days before Christmas. And um, I'm still sick, so I'm still like trying to push through. Amanda wants to know, do you get the Cricut Design Space if you do not pay for access? Absolutely, Amanda. So you have, um, gosh guys, I'm struggling. So Design Space is where everyone designs anything. You can upload, um, I will show you a lot, I do a lot of Harry Potter stuff. And they don't have any Harry Potter stuff, so I find those or make those or upload them myself. Um, my husband is a graphic designer, so um, sometimes he'll make me SVGs, which I'm actually going to share some SVGs coming up soon. I'm excited about. So this is done. Um, so design space is where everyone designs their stuff. Um, if you Cricut access is just access to some of their images. It's not. Um, um, hang on, really fast. It's not like you don't have to pay for it to use it once you have the machine. If you Cricut Access is their images and their their fonts. Hang on, I'm gonna share this really fast. From Housewife Eclectic. That's me. So I'm Deborah from Housewife Eclectic. I have been vlogging for about 10 years and I've been using a Cricut um, really regularly for about five. Okay. So if you have Cricut questions, um, feel free to ask them. So one of the best ways to Lorene Nance wants to know, does my husband make SVGs in Illustrator? She's been considering upgrading her Silhouette Studio so she can make SVGs that way since we already know the software in Illustrator and I do not get along historically. Um, so, yes, but my husband uses Illustrator for everything. Um, he's kind of like an Illustrated wizard, which I totally get that Illustrator is a pain in the pants. Like, it is not my favorite thing ever. So, um, really quick, as so I can keep moving while I'm talking. Um, I always peel my mat from my material, not your material from your mat. Your mat is really resistant, so you see how it's still flat. Your material is not as is not as resilient. So if you pull the material from the mat, your material is going to curl up, which is fine, but it just makes it a little bit harder to work with. Um, so my husband has been making some SVGs for some of my hair pot Potter projects lately, so I have some of those that I need to share. Um, I've got a Death of Hallows one and a um, Quidditch pitch and a couple of others, I think. So I just cut this down. Um, all I did was take scissors and cut um, it down to size so that as I peel it, um, I won't waste any extra material. So next we are going to go ahead and cut our red parts. So same deal. I'm just going to take the red. Shiny side always goes down with heat transfer. Oop. We're going to go this way. Make sure you mat the Cricut um, is really smart and it's going to want to save you as much material as possible. So make sure you get it all the way up into that grid. And then like I said, my favorite tool ever. 
the brayer helps get that, makes those mats last a little bit longer. I, number one thing I go through is mats. My blades always seem to last a really long time. I think I had a fi one fine point blade in my machine for about a year before I ever had to change the blade. So the blades last a long time, which I love. So we've got our red in there. I'm gonna turn you guys so you can see it cutting. So this is the Maker. This is Cricut's newest machine. It's designed to cut fabric. It's got a rotary blade. And the knife blade's hopefully coming out soon. But um, any machine can use the fine point blade, which is what we're using right now. So um, you can do this with the Cricut Explore Air. Um, just the Cricut Explore. Any of those newer machines, you will be able to use Design Space and create this really easy. So it's just cutting our cute little hearts for us right now. <laughs> Lorene says, once upon a time I was going to learn Illustrator, then I had kids and my extra brain power is now used up for remembering where their shoes are. You know what? That is how I feel on a daily basis. My husband all the time is like, um, you know, he's always tells me, I'm not your employee. I shouldn't have to do this. And I'm like, yes, but then I have to learn how to do it. And that just sounds tragic. He, so every year for Valentine's day, I think Valentine's is his least favorite holiday when it comes to my blog. Okay. Remember mat from the material, not material from the mat that will help your material from curling. Remember your mat is really resilient. See, it's not bent at all after doing that. So I, we are done cutting, so I'm going to go ahead and put my plastic sheet back on my mat, and we are just going to cut this out. So I'm going to turn my machine off and push it back so that we have a little bit more room over here to work. So I'm going to push my maker back towards the wall just so I've got a little bit more room that you guys can see here. Um, so I'm just hanging regular old pair of scissors, and we are going to cut um, the design out, which I'm struggling to see. So I'm going to pull out my bright pad. I use my bright pad to weed all the time, which I seriously, I adore it. It's one of my very, very, very favorite things. Okay. So, it's just exactly what the name says, a bright pad. So, now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put my design down on it. So, now I can see where those hearts are. Oh, there's a okay, so right there. Okay, so I always cut as close on it as I can because you don't want to cut any extra because you can use that for another project. So now I'm going to grab my favorite weeding tool, which is this hook right here. You can see? I was like, can it? So this is my favorite weeding tool. Um, I use this to weed just about everything. So where did I put my blight at? transfer where'd I put you ah, it's on my keyboard that's why I can't see it okay so now I'm just gonna use the bright pad let me see if I can make it so you guys can see that just a little bit better I'm gonna use the bright pad and I'm just gonna take my hook and I'm gonna find one of the corners and I just go for it I just go ahead and rip a little bit to grab a piece so that I can peel So now I'm just going to go ahead and peel all around. So I always do my outside first. It's usually the easiest to do. And your heat transfer should peel this easy. If it's not peeling this easy, your blade is probably dull. Okay, so now you can see my hearts. Now we're going to peel the center of the hearts. So you just use your hook to lift up a little bit. 
If you want, you can be a little gentler with the center and use those center hearts for something else. My kids love to find like the centers of things that I've I cut out. I usually save like the center of our heart for my nine year old. She loves to iron random things on to random things. Okay. And one more heart center. Okay. There we go. We've got all of our hearts weeded and ready to go. Now we're going to do our letters. Oh, kid, okay. Can you see, guys, well? You have any questions about weeding? Weeding is. The most fun part of a project and the most frustrating, depending on how sharp your blade is. Okay. So I'm just weeding the outside of the letters right now. Pull a little gentle around some of your finer letters. This is kind of a thin font, so you might want to be a little more careful. Okay, it's really taken shape now. You can see the mine part. Okay. So here we are. Now we have weeded all the outside letters. Now we just need, need to get the centers of the letters out. So again, I just use my hook and snag them. So I don't know, you probably can't see, but I accidentally left a tiny piece of heat transfer on there. You want to make sure you get that off or that's going to iron down to your banner as well. Okay, so we are easier done. Let's get the center of our B out. One more. Okay, so here is our design. I'm going to go ahead and turn that bright pad off so the, I will, the light will fix a little bit. Can you see the B mine? I'm going to go ahead and peel this, um, the little dot above the eye off because we're using the heart there and we don't want to take the chance of that gluing on. Okay, so our next step for this banner, try to make it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Our next step for this banner is we're going to go ahead and cut the letters apart. Now, if you were putting this on a shore or something, you wouldn't do this. You would just keep it all together and iron on. But since we're putting one letter on each banner, on each pendant, we need to cut it apart. Can you guys see okay? I told you it makes me so nervous to do the to do it backwards like this because it's hard for me to see what you guys are seeing. Okay, so now we have cut all of our letters apart. I'm going to go ahead and cut the hearts apart as well. Um, I typically like to cut off any excess, the, the plastic sheet that your letters are sitting on is called a transfer sheet. I typically like to cut off any of that excess, especially when I'm layering heat transfer, but we're not doing that in this project, so it's not as crucial. Okay, but we are layering the eye and the this little heart, so you will need to trim down any extra carrier sheet on the eye and on the heart. So I just trim around the design to make it so there's not any extra plastic. Okay, so now we've got our design down. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my heat press. Okay. 
Okay, so today I'm using the Cricut Easy Press, which is an easy and fast way to burlap. So I'm going to look at the guide to see how long burlap should be. 305 for 30 seconds. Okay, so now the Easy Press is warming up, and we are going to go ahead and take these and put these on the banner. So we're going to take the banner over to this counter over here, along with the letters. They kind of all stick to each other. You can just make it work. Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys... Here, maybe. This little tripod is waking me out a little bit. Okay, so this is the Easy Press. This is warming up. We'll use this here in a minute. Um, until then, we are going to get our banner going. So, kind of hold your banner up. Make sure it's the right direction. Okay, so this for me is the right direction, I believe, maybe. What is going on? Okay, flatten that out. Oh, it's because it's a twist. So this is the right direction. But we've got to get the twisty out. Okay. So lay that out. I'm going to take this and just. Yes, I know. Yell at me. Tell me I mean. Okay. I'm trying to flatten that out a little bit. Okay. So now we have got. I've got to get this twist out because that's what's making everything. Not good. Hmm. I wonder if I can just pull these off. I'm going to pull these off and then put them back on. Okay. So smooth out this cord, smooth the cord, and then thread this back through. Okay, I'm going to have to thread it with the needle in a little bit, but now we know the direction that these are supposed to be. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to find our, our B and our E. So our B is going to go right here. Actually, the very first thing we are going to do is put on one of our hearts. So our heart where the curl is facing in is the one we're going to want to put on the first one. So just kind of, the back is a little bit sticky, so it'll stick for a little bit. Go ahead and put that down. And then we are going to take our easy press. Where is, I need, I usually do it on like an ironing board or something. Here is, this is just a protective sheet that we are going to do it on. So get that B nice and down on there. Nice and straight. Okay, and then you're going to take your easy press. You're going to put that over the design. And you're going to press go. This is going to count down from 30 seconds. So press hard. Press with all you got. It's your good arm workout for the day. Maybe. Maybe you guys are not as wussy as me. Seven, six.
Okay, so that's gonna beep to let you know to put it back in the cradle. And hopefully this is good to peel. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, I don't think it is. I think we need a little bit more time on that. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a tiny bit more time. But I'm gonna move on to the next one so you guys can see what we're doing. I'm gonna plug in my other heat press over here for a minute. So that I can touch these up here. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this heart. Go ahead and put that over top of it and hit go. Go ahead and put the easy press back, and now we've got the heart on there. You see how nice that looks? So what brand, Amanda wants to know what brand is my press. This is the easy press, this is a Cricut press. Um, it's kind of awesome, it doesn't take up a ton of space. Um, kind of nice that way. My other heat press is a Singer, which I also really love. So we are just going to keep working down the sign. So now we need an E. So you kind of want to pull the B over and kind of make sure that the bottoms are lining up so that when people read it, it actually reads well. So B and then this is our next letter. This is an M. Kind of make sure you're your letters are lining up. So this is the I. This is a little bit trickier, but not bad. This is where our I is going to go. And then we're going to take our little teeny tiny tiny heart and kind of just stick it on top. And make sure that none of the heart is on the plastic of the eye. If any of the heart is on the plastic of the eye, it's going to melt to the plastic and not the can, not the burlap, which would be sad. So, and we're going to keep going with our N. E Our heart that curves inward, so you're framing the sign. Okay, so now we're gonna iron down our uh, our E. Release it. Go. That was done. So now our E is on there. Now we just need to do our M. So it's a little more iron work to do a project like this because you've got to iron each thing separately instead of being mine all together. But I think the effect is going to be really cute. So now our M is done. I'm going to go ahead and leave these for a cool peel. I think it will work a little bit better. So um, there are two different types of peeling. You can peel it while it's all hot or you can peel it while it's all cool. 
Depends kind of what on the project that you're working on, which is best. Okay, so we need to make sure that this eye is straight. Three more to go. Okay, let's do our N. Okay, so I think these are a little better set now. So here's our heart, here's our first one. Can you see? We're gonna go ahead and peel that off and look how nice it stayed on there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up. Let me bring you over here. Kimberly says you aren't getting as much pressure at the top. You know what? That is totally my problem because it's on the ribbon. Hey, that was great. Thank you. I'm like, why is this not working like it should? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish these up. Really fast. Kimberly was totally right. Definitely wasn't getting as much pressure at the top because of the ribbon. So make sure you notice that if you make something like this. So I've switched to my other heat press to help get that pressure. which if I had just noticed that the ribbon was the problem, we would have been golden, but I didn't, so. Okay, where did my end go? Right here. So, here, I'll flip you guys around. I am just on the other side here. So I'll flip you guys this way. Oh, you can see my, do my daughter's ducky blanky that I'm working on. So this is the advantage of using the easy press over this. This is incredibly hot. I've actually burned my fingers twice while I've been working on this just today. Um, so that's why the easy press is such an advantage is that it doesn't get, I mean, it's hot, but it doesn't get like this where it's like molten lava. done. We're going to turn off our press and we're going to bring you guys over here so you guys can see this finished product. You said the little heart is, oh, what happened to my little heart? Donna says my little heart is gone and she is correct. Sad day. Okay. Let's figure out what happened to my little heart. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and peel these all off while we're sitting here. So there's the end part, there's the E, and the N, and the I. Oh, the heat of the other heat press, I told you it's really hot, it made it all curl. We're going to have to easy press it down again. Okay, so we've peeled all of them, except the B. So they're all on their great, except what happened to our... Oh, Let's 
see if we can salvage this friend. Okay, this is super weird. I can't tell which end is the sticky end. Okay. Let's try and save this little friend. On top of iron on you need to make sure that you've covered up that iron on with parchment paper or an iron protective sheet so that it won't um, the iron on won't stick again you know what something's wrong with this little heart I don't know what it is okay I'm gonna have to redo that heart later but I want you guys to be able to see the banner that now needs to be ironed very very badly I just did a good commercial as to why you should have the easy press and not a regular heat press. Kim says she loves all the neat tools um, that I have for crafting. Thank you. Um, so I think what happened with that, the heart, the little heart, you like my sand. This uh, My kids broke an ornament and I was trying to save the sand from the ornament. It was a beach ornament that I made from this last year. Um, so I was trying to save the sand for it, so I still have a little pile of sand on my um, counter. Okay, let's lay this down. Um, I think what happened to the, so this is a good cautionary tale, I guess. I think what happened to that little heart is that there was a little bit of sticky on it from, from it being on the roll. And so it, instead of sticking, that little bit of sticky was stickier than the... The heat, the heat bond part of it. So instead of sticking to what I wanted it to stick to, it all stuck to the top instead. Okay. I'm getting this flattened out for us. And then you guys can see the finished product. And I'm going to go see if I do have the inside of that little heart. Over here. Oh, it like majorly poofed up that. Okay. One more. Okay, there you go. Now we can see the whole thing. Um, you could definitely do something in between the B and mine if you want to. Um, I chose not to, but that, you know, that's not right or wrong. So we have this little heart here that can go here. So I'll iron this on in just a minute. But there you go. This is what it looks like. Be mine. Tell me what you think. I think it turned out pretty darn cute. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. My name is Deborah. I blog at Housewife Eclectic. I am live here on Mama Loves Food every other Monday at um, 1.30 Eastern. Um, I'm live every Friday on my page, Housewife Eclectic. So if you want to see those shows, which will hopefully have less crazy chaoticness in them, um, you can go up to the description and like my page. And I will see you then.